morning peeps long time no see i thought i'd actually do a vlog today the sun's out i'm off work it's a good day so far yeah, i'm just at the doctor's gonna get the blood results for the tests that i had done two weeks ago i've not heard anything since so can't be anything too bad but we'll see what happens <coughs> Uh, yeah, it's, uh, not much to tell. I don't have a quick video last night from a computer and just an update, you know, so sort of mentioned everything on there. But yeah, just hopefully a nice relaxing day today. Might catch up on the the laundry. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I think. Um, my back's a little bit achy, so I don't want to do too much. Uh, yeah, let's get in the doctors and find out what's happening. Afternoon, guys. Sorry I didn't get back to you straight away after leaving the doctors. I got tied up doing other things. Um, yeah, nothing wrong at all. After all the checks they've done, vitamin D, diabetes, kidney function, all that sort of thing, all the tests that they've done, couldn't find a thing wrong. So the next step, what should the range in? is to have an ultrasound to scan my abdomen and everything and see if we can find anything there she says if they don't find anything there we've got the choice either to just see how things go or to do more invasive tests like um the endoscope down the throat and all that sort of thing so yeah we'll see how we go i am feeling better than what i was the other week but i still don't feel a hundred percent but I've got my appetite back and things like that. But yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, but since I got home, I put some washing in. Uh, got the munchies, something terrible today. For some reason, I just uh, feel like I want to keep snacking on things. Um, now, I've been speaking to Mark there and his dad. His dad's busy helping me with my family tree. And I uh, spoke to Rick, old Saldy, early on. I had a bit of a chat with him. And it was good to catch up. So I like to catch up with with Rick. And, you know, uh, it's been a few weeks since I've had a proper chat with him. So, yeah, it's good to catch up. Um, but apart from that, nothing else going on at the moment. So, I need to put some more washing in there, in the washing machine. Uh, get the coloreds in something like that you know then i'm gonna try and set up george's laptop on the router so because as it is at the moment i can go on the router and i can knock the internet off on a phone on an ipad all sorts of but i haven't set the laptop up yet and it's been a few times just they instead of turning it off at night she'll come off her phone because the internet goes off automatically at a certain time um but she just takes them and just goes and sits on a laptop instead. And so she, when she's supposed to be in bed asleep, she's still sat there watching EastEnders and everything on a laptop. So I'm going to set that up. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be back soon. Afternoon, everybody. Oh. Guess who fell asleep? Went and lay in the bed, one o'clock I thought, or ten past one I thought. I'll have a little sleep till two o'clock, because the medication was kicking in. Two o'clock, the alarm went off. I thought I'll have ten more minutes. <sighs> Woke up, twenty-five to five. Got to pick George up at five. So <laughs> I jumped straight up in the, into the car and straight down here. God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Still feel half asleep. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's blazing hot now. It's uh, 15 and a half degrees here. Car's red hot. Even with the even with the air conditioning on. <sighs> air conditioning hasn't cooled the car down yet. But yeah. Medication just all of a sudden kicked in. Medication and something to eat, and that was it. My eyes were like, <laughs> hmm, these things happen. 
Well, the John Lewis saga goes on. I've just had another phone call from them. I've just rung them back. Uh, another one saying, oh, they're, they're still after proof of purchase. I went, well, have, you not, have they not read the notes from Customer Relations from when I rang up either yesterday or the day before? Well, let's go back to the beginning. Is it because they need proof of purchase to send to this company who deal direct with Canon? This repair company. And they'll send it to Canon. So she went through the notes. She went, yeah. She said, oh, yeah. yeah. So who's got the proof of purchase? I went, well, I have somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I don't get it in Newcastle very often you know and I said I took the charger direct into the store where I bought it so where's the charger now I said well I'm not sure <laughs> but I, all I know is I took it into the store in Newcastle she went right she says what I'm going to do she says I'm going to send an email with your proof of purchase so you don't have to do it and we'll get in touch with we'll we'll sort it out and we'll uh, we'll be in touch <sighs> at least they're sending it now Good. She apologised, she says, I'm sorry this is going round the houses and taking so long. I said, well, yeah, they did initially say it was going to take 28 days, and I use that camera every day, and I'm not able to use it while you've got it. And she apologised and everything. She, she was quite nice. Yeah, so, uh, it continues.